Hey guys, and welcome back to LPT Guys Tutorials. Today, I'd like to talk about video frame rates, when and why you would choose a specific frame rate, and the effect it has on your video. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe. New videos released weekly. So, what is a frame rate? As many of you already know, video is a series of sequential images. When played back fast enough, these images form the illusion of a moving picture or a video. The rate the pictures are played back at is called video frame rate, measured in frames per second. For most people, to form the illusion of a smooth video, the minimum frame rate is 16 frames per second. That means at least 16 sequential images must be played back every second. Anything less than that will just look like a picture slideshow. Most movies are filmed at 24 frames per second, and majority of TV shows and internet video is 30 frames per second. So why do cameras have so many settings for frame rates? Well, there's a few reasons. First, let's take a look at 24 or 30 frames per second. These are your base frame rates, and the footage is recorded and played back in real time. This means the speed of the action in your clip will be exactly the same as in real life. Higher frame rates, such as 60, 120, and even 240 frames per second, allow you to slow down your clips for a better look at what is happening. Say, for example, you choose 30 frames per second for your project. Having footage shot at 60 frames per second will allow you to slow down your clip and play it back at half speed while still having 30 images for every second. A clip shot at 120 frames can be slowed down and played back at one fourth of the original speed, and so on. Another trick some filmmakers use is slowing down footage to reduce camera shake. Slowing down a clip and playing it back at 80% of the original speed can make camera shake much less noticeable. The slower frame rates, such as 12 or 15 frames per second, are used when footage will be sped up. Playing a clip that is shot at 15 frames per second in real time can appear choppy, but speed it up to twice the original speed and the video looks nice and smooth. Sometimes I use these frame rates to shoot time lapse videos instead of picture setting. This can add some nice motion blur to my time lapses. So what frame rate do you choose when shooting video? Well, it depends on what you are filming. If filming normal, everyday events, I'd recommend sticking with a base frame rate of 24 or 30 frames per second. If you're filming fast moving action that will need to be slowed down, choose a higher frame rate, such as 60 frames per second or higher. One thing you have to remember is that you will give up some quality when shooting at a higher frame rate. First of all, your images have less time to get exposed at higher frame rates, so this could be a disadvantage in low light situations. Another reason, some cameras make you give up video resolution to shoot at a higher frame rate, so you will lose detail. And lastly, each camera has a maximum bit rate, or how much information is recorded each second. So spreading it over more frames means you might lose some color and other detail in your video. And if storage is an issue, your file size will be much larger at a higher frame rate. This is why shooting at a base frame rate is sometimes your best option. If footage doesn't need to be slowed down, base rate will provide you with the best video quality. So I hope this gives you a basic understanding of video frame rates and how to choose the best one for your footage. Ask any questions you may have in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, liking and sharing this video is very helpful and means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe. New videos released weekly. Thanks for watching and I hope you come back for more.